Holmes, for heaven's sake, whatever's going on? Oh, hello, Watson. You're early. Did you kill all of your patients? Uh, what? Holmes, where have all these wretched bees come from? I increased the temperature of the room so as to prevent them from hibernating. I needed to take a sample of honey. But it worked, Watson. We will have honey all year round. Ridiculous and dangerous. They're domestic bees. Apis mellifera. Such industrious workers. Anyway, Watson, I am sorry, but I must leave you. I'm in rather a hurry. You have a new case? Yes, but nothing as thrilling as this experiment. A theft of plants at the Royal Botanic Gardens in Kew. I'm helping a minister who's an old friend of mine. You can join me if you like. Well, I'll admit that I'd far rather accompany you than remain alone here with these workers of yours. Besides, you'll need a helping hand with the flowers you're intending to bring back. Watson, however did you guess? For the great Sherlock Holmes to bother with the theft of plants. Come on, admit that you're planning to spoil your little bees with some rare pollens. <laughs> Since when did I become so transparent? Let us go. No dobra, po starej sprawie mamy... Srebrny widelec. Okej. Okay. I informacje z poprzednich zdarzeń. A myślę, że... Well, Holmes, here we are at the Royal Botanic Gardens. There's no doubt that this place is beautiful. But are you really intent on investigating the theft of the plants? Yes, of course. No, dobra. Don't touch anything else, is that clear? Just go and get a bucket of fertilizer. And without turning it over this time. Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? If you are here for a visit, please do come back on Sunday. I am afraid that it cannot wait. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. We are investigating the theft of plants that took place here five days ago. A remarkable collection, I believe. So you're the one in charge, eh? A small favor for a friend. Now to whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? I am Martin Hamish. I am the deputy director of Kew Gardens. And that fellow yonder is Albert. He works here. I am delighted to meet you. What can you tell us about the plants? They were rare and exceptional plants. We presented them at our last exhibition. We haven't removed the stand yet. It is still in the large glass house. We only learned of their disappearance the evening after the exhibition, and nobody saw anything. No doors were forced? No, but I would imagine that for a thief it would be fairly easy to gain entry, for there are no guards here. Well, if you don't mind, we will take a look. Now, you say that it is in the large glass house. Yes, the one just behind me. Just a second, since Albert has nothing else to do. Albert, show these gentlemen where the exhibition was held. How many people work here? Only myself, but occasionally two students, Albert, whom you have met, and Miss White. Here it is. This is the place where the stolen plants were exhibited. Thank you. Is there something the matter? Yes, there is. All right, the plants were valuable and rare, but it seems to me that the tragedy that took place here only two days ago has been entirely forgotten already. What tragedy are you referring to? My... the director of Kew Gardens, Mr. Montague Dunn. He died here just two days ago. We're very sorry. We were not aware. The two of you were good friends? He... He was my father. Oh dear, our condolences. We should not be troubling you. Please do excuse us for the intrusion. 
You say that he died here, in the large glass house? Holmes? Yes. Just here, near the door to the colonial collection. He suffered a heart attack. Just like that. So suddenly. It was terrible. Excuse me, gentlemen, but I cannot remain here. If you need me, I'll be in the reserve. That's the room next to the front of the large greenhouse. Of course, we understand. Do not touch. Do not touch. What should we do next, Holmes? Here is a list of the stolen plants. These trees with their roots in water must originate from Louisiana. Ah, yes, the bayou. I remember our visit in the case of The Awakened. According to Albert, this is where his father, Montague Dunn, was found dead. Soil. It should have come from a flower pot. The soil on the side of this flower shelf is the same as that on the ground. Fragments of a flower pot. It fell down here. The traces are thinner in some places. The traces are... These boot marks are fresh. It appears as though someone was dragging their feet. The footprints reveal that someone staggered here. The door was smashed at shoulder height. This door handle is new. It was recently changed. Hmm. The Esconson was breached near the handle. The door was forced from the inside of the colonial collection room. The handle was changed afterwards. I think we need to inspect the colonial collection room. This sign is broken. Something heavy was dropped upon it. Blood. Someone fell violently against this sign and they were injured in the clash. Most likely a head wound. This pot was broken fairly recently. A flower pot recently fell down from these shelves and was misplaced. All the clues around here are quite suspicious. I need my imagination to make sense of it all. Dostał zawał, spalił doniczkę i upadł.
This reconstruction reveals a disturbing fact. Montague Dunn damaged the door of the colonial collection room. He was in a panic, or the door was locked. Was it an accident, or a murder then, I wonder? I think we need to inspect the colonial collection. Może został otruty i roślina jakaś miała go uratować, dlatego się płamywał. Przesuń się. According to this, they have light and moisture control in some parts of the building. Water lily greenhouse. According to this, they have light. Can I help you, gentlemen? Hmm. Uh, do you work here? Yes, but part-time only. For I'm also studying botany at the University of London. You're following in your father's footsteps, then that is commendable. Well, even if botany is not my strongest suit, there are people who say that I could be a good manager. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Mamy tak. Albert Dunn to nerwowy młody człowiek, sądząc po ogryzionych paznokciach, używał dużej ilości detergentów do mycia rąk. To niezbyt mądre, skoro ma do czynienia z ziemią i roślinami. Ma czerwone oczy, niedawno płakał. Jego wiek wskazuje na to, że wciąż studiuje, jest przystajnym kablarem i pewnie nadal mieszka z matką. Eee, dobra, a tutaj mamy lista skradzionych egzotycznych roślin z wystawy w ogrodach w Ke. Wybaczcie, ale nie będę czytać tych łacińskich nazw i jeszcze rekonstrukcja śmierci Montania Montani Dana ujawniła niepokojący fakt wyważył drzwi sali z kolekcją kolonialną albo spanikował, albo drzwi były zamknięte jeśli ktoś z drzwi zamknął na klucz śmierć Dana mogła być morderstwem z premedytacją musimy sobie jeszcze pójść przeszukać archiwa, ale to zaraz Colonial collection. Nursery. Director's office, cloakroom, and laboratory. Palm house. Seed house. Ventilation system. Dry tropics. A map of Kew Gardens. Tu jest rozsadnik, do niego nie wejdziemy.
There is a smell of burning. Oh. The symbol is not from Kew Gardens. A broom handle was half burned. The remains of a picture frame. A protective mask. Someone set it alight, but it did not burn. A door handle? Why would anyone throw such a thing in the fire? The door handle to the colonial collection and that of the fireplace are made of the same material. The plants were set alight fairly recently. Some have not completely burned. A ventilation system. It should regulate the temperature of the staff buildings. A water tank. Seed house. Lock. Nursery. Locked. Okay, czyli te części nas nie będą interesowały. W takim razie wejdźmy sobie jeszcze raz. These flower pots are beautiful. They are intended to be used for exhibition purposes. The symbol is not from Kew Gardens. No właśnie. Symbol na dończka z ogrodów w Gew przyniesiono je tu z innego miejsca oraz symbol na pękniętej doniczce znalezionej na podwórzu. Ten symbol nie pochodzi z ogrodów w Gew. Znak oznacza boski, jeśli się nie mylę. To wszystko musimy sprawdzić w archiwach. Dobra. Wracamy. 